A Fox News alert, breaking news now on the deadly terror attack on the U.S. consulate in Libya. A lot going on in the Middle East right now. This is the radicals who have declared war on the United States. This is chaos. Let's just talk about what we see in the news every day. The second explosion went off. It happens here. Hate crime is a real thing. Another plane just hit. Oh, oh, oh my God. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Violence based on religion. There is uh, no religion to my knowledge that promotes the violence. It is the people, you know, that they actually do that. There are people, you know, there are extremists in every religion. But um, uh, I have to say that, that uh, when it comes to, to, to the Islam, then I think uh, it is blamed to Islam. This should not be done. When you go back to the dispute in Northern Ireland between the Catholics and the Protestants, right. so it's not mm, just, right. you know, right. you, and you dissect the problem. It was uh, unhealthy nationalism and some of it on the verge of what, you know, the Nazism of, you know, 60, 80 years ago. There is no basis for Islam to really promote the, the violence. I have already said the word jihad is being misinterpreted. Jihad means you take a gun and kill anyone who is uh, not a Muslim. It's not true. Uh, there is a quote in, in Quran, and if, if you kill one innocent person, it's as if you have killed the whole humanity. And if you save one life, it's as if you saved the whole uh, humanity. And I think it would be helpful if the Imams would, would educate the rest of us what the Quran says and what the, the morals are in Islamic society, because we immediately go with the news media, and therefore we blame, we point. Uh, if we don't blame the faith, but we blame that particular person who has committed something. Mm -hmm. That, I think, will make the thing clear. But the media is using the stereotyping, you know, that all Muslims, you know, are, are like that. How does it make you feel to, to have a society that feels like every Muslim is a terrorist? Uh, it's very uncomfortable. Every time there is some kind of event in this country, you know, we are holding our breath, you know. Sirens sounded at Fort Hood after a gunman opened fire, killing 11 people and injuring more than 30 others. Right. My God, what we are going to hear, who will be the person? Mm -hmm. you know? Muslims are on the defensive. You know? The Christians, you know, back before there was Catholic Protestants, we had the Crusades. Mm -hmm. You know, well, what was right? And then all of Europe and the Christian leaders, you know, they, they went to defend what they thought was right at the time. But the economics and the nationalism and the prejudices mm -hmm. and, and the unknown, and the unknown feeds the um, the prejudices more than anything else, and that's why, you know, if you have imams and educate the rest of us that, that exactly what you said, so that we can be more respectful of your holy book and your holy ways, and not to immediately, you know, point fingers and tag them as wrong. My. Pope Francis himself said violence and faith are incompatible, which is a powerful statement. Amen. The use of violence, when I disagree with what I see, is somewhat acceptable. I mean, or at least it's been. It's been raised that this is the way you respond to something that you disagree with. And, and you know, all of our holy books would say, you can't do that. That is not acceptable. That is not what God wants. Mm -hmm.